Hello everyone, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to, we have some harvested some uh, wild asparagus and of course some wild, see the little uh, snail is still on there. So we have to clean that. Um, this first video is about fiddleheads. Fiddleheads are a type of fern and this is before the leaves open up. Um, now there's a, this is the season for them almost done. So we're lucky we got some uh, before the season is over. So basically it's the, the fern leaf before it opens up. That's what it looks like. And you have to be careful. There are a couple of varieties and some of them are more toxic than others. This one is okay. There's still some toxins in it, but we're gonna get, we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how to take care of that. You have to see inside here, see the groove inside. That's the good one. That's the one to eat. And the other ones have sort of hairy kind of um, furry texture, furry surface. Um, and these brown things, we have to get rid of that. This usually covers it like this already. Clean some of it. See, look at this. So we're going to have to wash these. And I'll show you how to get rid of the... There's a bit of toxin still in here. It won't kill you, but it will make you feel a little... If you eat a lot of it anyway. A um, little uneasy, but they're easy to fix. So we're going to boil these in water. Usually water gets rid of water and salt. So let this boil. I'm going to go wash these, rinse them off, make sure all the stuff is gone, and I'll be back. And then we'll throw them in the boiling water for about three minutes. It's very easy to do. Just remove this. Put it in there. And the water, usually water and salt, gets rid of the toxins from the ferns, most of them. Now you will never ever die from eating ferns, I don't think. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist with that, but I don't think anyone has. And you have to eat a whole lot of them to get oil, right? So, But still, better safe than sorry. So we're going to remove all of these very easy. I'm going to finish that, and I'll see you when I get to the stove again. So we washed all my fiddleheads. So for this recipe, I'm gonna use the same thing for the asparagus and the fiddleheads. Um, I'm just, after I boil this for a few minutes, I'm gonna use a bit of some chopped onion, some chopped garlic, a little butter, a little salt, some black pepper and olive oil. But first thing I have to do is, I'm gonna put my washed fiddleheads over here and my boiling water with this water and salt in here. And if I missed a few of these brown spots, that's okay. So the water and salt for about five minutes will get rid of all the less, even less than that. Three, three minutes and they will be good and ready to eat and they'll be perfect. So let them boil for about three to five minutes. I think three is fine. See how they change color? Look at this. As soon as they hit the water that was boiling, look at that. And these are beautiful fiddleheads. Fiddlehead season is now almost finished. Asparagus season is starting and that's gonna be about a few weeks. I'm gonna show you the asparagus in the next video But these are beautiful beautiful wild asparagus and they're the purple kind so that's a good one So these have been boiling for a little over three minutes. I'm gonna turn it off I'll actually leave it on just put it on low because I'm gonna need it I'm gonna go strain them rinse them one more time and come right back Here we go We boil them three a little over three minutes we rinse them again, and now we're gonna prepare them and get them ready to eat. I'm gonna put a little bit of butter, a little bit of olive oil, half of my onion, because I'm gonna use the other half for the asparagus half of my garlic and I want these to brown a little bit I want these to brown nice and golden so this we could have pickled these we could have pickled these but they don't last as long and they get really weird and mushy really mushy and I don't like them pickled to be quite honest with you uh, so might as well just enjoy them right now right away 
and uh, yeah, they're delicious, sweet. The same like the asparagus. They almost taste like asparagus, but they're a little different. So I'm gonna let this brown and I'll see you in a second. My onions and garlic for about three, four minutes. Brown enough. Now I'm gonna add my fiddleheads. Toss a bit. Make sure it's all mixed thin. Pinch the salt. Go so pinch more. Some fresh black pepper. And that's not gonna take long. It's gonna be cooked very, very quickly. Enough. There we go. Look at that beautiful, delicious, fresh, and um, straight from nature. Beautiful, delicious, wild food. And you can serve these with anything. Steak, chicken, fish, whatever you like. Or eat them like this if you're a vegetarian. They make an amazing, amazing vegetarian dish. And this is done. Turn this off. Put them on your serving platter. And voila. Fresh Canadian delicacy fiddlehead. So good, yummy. Please do like, if you have access to these, now they're gonna be coming in the stores because the season's almost done. So you may be able to find them in some stores in the, in the produce shelf. If you do, they're so good. Or you can go look for them, but be sure you get the right one. So do like, subscribe and share our videos and stay safe, stay healthy and eat very healthy as well. I'll see you very soon with the asparagus video.